Hi, my name is uh, Jimmy Platingos, and um, I am from originally from uh, upstate New York. Uh, ended up down in the South in my late teens into my early 20s. And I remember growing up um, in a home. It was, it was uh, you know, it was per, for the most part, a stable home. And, uh, but there was just uh, um, things that were allowed. Um, and I dabbled into a lot of uh, uh, alcohol and it turned into drug use uh, in my early teens, um, smoking cigarettes and everything. And, and what, what was starting to happen was it became uh, uh, an addiction, but it was because I was trying to fill something inside of me and I was, uh, it was, I was empty. I would seek certain friends um, and always pick the wrong friends. And that crowd that I was picking was, was getting me into trouble and to, to a point where I ended up in jail uh, more than once, uh, facing prison time. And it was just a rough, rough 18, 19, 20 year old uh, young man with no direction. And uh, I can remember how depressed I was. I was dealing with depression, um, moving down up from up north down south uh, made it even worse. And uh, um, I just broke out into shingles uh, at uh, 18 years old, shingles on the side of my face. Um, and the doctor said that could only be triggered through depression. And so I remember being lost and empty and I was walking by one day, just looking for something to do. And there was a uh, small little church um, on the main uh, road there. And they invited me in to, to come and and uh, watch a movie. So I went in and uh, that night I realized, even though I had religion, and uh, they asked me if I was a Christian, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, and I pulled down my cross. But that night I realized I was not saved. I was not forgiven for my sins. And I remember accepting uh, Jesus Christ to be my savior that night for the first time. And there was a weight that was lifted off of me I remember this weight and um, I continued in in going back for a few months but something again with my bad decisions pulled me back into my addictions and uh, facing now more jail time and not sticking through with that decision um, brought me to a place of a reality of who I really was and two years fast forward two years from that moment i actually did go back to a church service that same church and it was almost like god was speaking to me because he was and a light bulb came on my head and said this is where you belong jimmy i will use you here and when i heard that from god i surrendered all when i said i surrendered i surrendered all and my life changed from that point on. It was 1998, November 17th, 1998. I, could, I immersed myself in truth. I immersed myself in the gospel. I immersed myself in the church. And my addictions fell off. And a month after that, I remember I got um, asked, hey, we're, we're, my manager started pulling out beers, giving beers to everybody at work and I said, no, I don't drink no more. And he took it and I just freaked out inside. I said, did I just turn down alcohol? And I knew from that point on, that late December, 1998, that I was free. And that was my turning point in my life. Um, my life has been changed since then. I'm pushing over 21 years now. And where I am today is, is a place where it's unique because God started to stir me to do something in the city of Jacksonville when we moved down here. And in 2016, we started uh, the Difference 180 Recovery Group. And this is a, a, basically my story and a lot of people's story on how they became free, not hooked in, in, in saying, hi, I'm an alcoholic. No, I am free because of Jesus Christ and the power of the blood that he set me free from. And I want to invite you out to the Difference 180 because we have a, a, a live group uh, Tuesday nights that meets here, 7 o'clock. And uh, come out. Come out who you are. 
And the bottom line is, is are you ready to surrender all? Because that's when the turning point, the 180, will happen in your life. I just want to thank you and hope to see you soon. My name is Jimmy Platingos, and I am the founder and the program director of the Difference 180 Recovery nonprofit organization. And we invite you out Tuesday nights, seven o'clock. If you need to contact me immediately, just look up my information on our website at www.difference180.com. Thank you.